17 miles long, and it may hold the secret of why we're here. The biggest scientific experiment in the world is nearly ready. When the Large Hadron Collider is switched on in July, these pipes, wires and magnets could tell us what the universe is made of and how it all works. A hundred meters below the Swiss Alps, this is what will happen. Two beams of particles will travel in opposite directions at virtually the speed of light. When they collide, it'll be a hundred thousand times hotter than the sun and it'll recreate the moments after the Big Bang. By, by going back that far in time, by recreating, we're kind of, if you like, we're exploring the physics, the way, the way the universe unfolded in those first few instances of time. If you look at what has happened to science in the 20th century, and we've gone from, you know, from the automobile through planes to be able to sort of try and pro, you know, probe the, the, the structure of the universe in this way, it's just inconceivable. And I think just, it's just part of this adventure, this man pushing against the limits. This place is truly enormous in scale. What you're looking at now is just one of the eight detectors. And this is just one part of one of those eight detectors. This is part of Atlas, 25 meters in diameter. It's massive. Just over there is where they'll carry out the collisions as part of that experiment. They hope that will tell us an awful lot about how we came to be here. It's also the setting for Dan Brown's novel, Angels and Demons. It'll be the backdrop for the movie, too. The reality could be more dramatic than the fiction. Scientists say we only know about 4% of what's out there. As for the rest, we don't even know what we don't know. And they dismiss talk of time travel or even a giant black hole, which would swallow up the lot. We're absolutely sure that this isn't going to happen because we know that there are cosmic rays hitting the Earth, hitting the atmosphere, the sun, the moon, Jupiter all of the time at even higher energies that, than we can create here. The aspect that's different here is that we're doing it in the same place so that we can actually observe what happens. But we know that we can't do something here that hasn't been going on for millions of years already at even higher energies. They could have the first results within months. After three billion pounds and ten years, they're confident it will work. If not, they say they'll have the world's most expensive piece of modern art. Greg Milam, Sky News, Geneva.